So I want to just give you a quick overview of what Wakelet can do. I'll just kind of give you the, the dashboard look so you can hopefully see its possibilities. And then the last step, we'll kind of create our own collection so you can get an idea of how that uh, works. So if you, if you open up your, when you're signed into your Wakelet, you'll see you've got this, these options in the top right hand corner. We'll just go from right to left. If you click the three dimples over here, you can see your public profile. You can view the spaces. We'll talk about those. There's account settings you can choose. So again, you can keep this pretty private or you can keep yourself at least uh, searchable so other teachers will connect. Uh, keep in mind, this is just for educators, Wakelet is. So to sign up, you need to link um, a school account. Next to that is, of course, notifications. That'll let you know if anyone new followers, that sort of thing. Uh, if you click on your picture, you'll be able to see what other people see. You'll be able to edit your profile if you want to put a picture, put a picture for your profile, etc. Make it fancy. Then when you click home, this is really where you come to when you first log into Wakelet. And you'll see here's going to be all of your collections. You'll see over time, I've created quite a few of them. You can create a new collection, which I'll show you in just a moment. And then uh, really that's, that's where your home, this is where all of your collections and you'll see your bookmarks and, and things are gonna show up over here. This next little tab at the top is going to be the Explorer. These are kind of top picks that Wakelet has chosen. So there's a whole bunch of them. And as a general kind of thumb, uh, uh, rule of thumb, shall we say, if you see something with 42 items, most likely it's probably a pretty good collection, or at least it's one that's well-developed. It doesn't have to be that large. It could be, you want to just look for something that's probably at least 10 to 15 resources will probably be good. Again, if you see a collection that has just one uh, resource, probably means it's just in a kind of a development stage, but that's uh, really the, the explore section here. You can also search, so you could search by topic. So if I put in something like history, it's going to search for, you know, any kind of tag that has history. So these will be different collections that have the tag history. Also, you can search for people. So for example, I'm going to put my friend Mike Drezek in here. If I click on people, that's going to bring up Mike Drezek. If I click on his profile, if I'm sure it's his, then I can just click follow or unfollow his profile and see the things that he's uh, left for sharing. So it really, he still has uh, the ability on his end to decide which collections he wants to share and which ones he doesn't as, as do you. So that's the kind of quick nutshell of what the dashboard looks like in Wakelet. There's also these over here that I'll just briefly mention. These are what are called uh, collections or no, yes, they're, they're gonna be spaces, I guess is probably the better and the more appropriate word. So these are spaces. So these are meant to be kind of shared resources that you want to pull together. So if you have a bunch of different collections on social studies, maybe you'll want to create a space that has those. And again, within the social studies, you could have, say, U.S. history, global history, you know, collections in there. So these over here are pretty new. I'm not as familiar with those because they're so new, but their general design is for you to start kind of organizing your collections. And also you can invite other people to contribute to those collections. So that's a kind of a new feature. And Wakelet, I will say, is developing new features all the time. So that's the general lay of the land with this, uh, with Wakelet.